Hey everyone, I'm Erwin Marine. Welcome back to the channel and my next Escape from Tarkov video. We're going to jump into a tweet from BSG about a special event, uh, hot weather and dehydration risks. They tweeted this out this morning. Um, it's already in the game. If you've been playing, you've seen it. If not, you're in for a surprise. So let's uh, not waste any more time and get into the details. So BSG tweeted uh, this picture out and thanks to Bake Easy's translation, um, we kind of have an idea what it says. Uh, basically, it boils down to is there's going to be really hot weather. Uh, I think they said 36 C, which is about 96, 97 degrees and risks of that dehydration are up. This has effects on your crafting, on your regen and the hideout, um, as well as your hydration regen, which is always a negative regen in raid, but your negative regen in raid. Right now with a fully uh, upgraded hideout, you know, I'm only 0.95 on regen inside the hideout. I'm, I'm, I'm fully upgraded as far as the that stuff is concerned. I still have a few items, but whatever. The And in raid, I'm almost negative. I'm over negative four. So you are going to lose four hydration every minute um, in raid right now. If you're where I'm at, you're probably going to, you might be even higher. You might be pushing, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but five or six maybe even. So it's going to be something you're going to need to have water on you constantly and looking for it in raid. They also changed uh, Therapist, so she has um, water for sale and barter, but it's more expensive now. The sale is 17,840, so that's up about 5,000 rubles, I think. The barter's still the same for 1H202, so just keep that in mind that that's there for you. Now, in the crafting side, it's extended the duration of crafting super water or the purified water. This is now 25 hours to craft this. Um, which is a very, very, very long time. It doesn't burn up filters any faster. It still takes the same amount of time or same amount of resources on the filter, but it is going to take more in a day to make water. And on top of that, the Aquamarines take a very long time to make. You are now uh, 20 hours on these instead of the hour and five minutes that it was before. And the downstream effect of this, um, the chain reaction, if you will, is that you're going to affect the prices on everything. So we'll go here in the flea market real quick and we'll take a peek um i got them in my wish list so we've seen aquamarines um more than double in price uh in the last you know couple hours and you've seen the purified waters not quite double in price but really darn close and this is going to have uh downstream effects on everything you know hot rods and moonshines are already seeing get it more expensive um i think you're also gonna see vodka get more expensive but we'll see uh luckily myself i have a bunch of <laughs> moonshine saved up i've been saving them to get really expensive and it looks like that's gonna happen so i'm gonna make a little bit of money there uh i think you're gonna see filters get cheaper we saw a little bit of a spike on filters right when this happened but i think that's people not really understanding what's gonna happen here with the demand of filters going through the floor um, I'm pretty sure you're going to see these things get cheap, like start of wipe cheap again. So maybe like 30K, 25K, it's kind of hard to say, and they might not do anything at all. Uh, I'm going to hold off on buying any, but if I see them dip, I'm going to buy a ton because this isn't going to last forever. Right now, it looks like it's going to last till Sunday, uh, uh, July 1st. That's what the little picture says on there. And that the same thing happened pre-wipe. They did it to the date. They took the fog off. So I think we'll see the same thing. On top of that, I've got sugar open here. I think we're going to see the price of sugar pull back as fewer and fewer people are crafting uh, moonshines, because right now it's the super water costs same as moonshine. So you're losing essentially 50K, not including the flea market fee to craft moonshine right now. So I think we'll see sugar pullback. So if you're one of those people that wants to buy sugar, I would wait. You're probably gonna see it cheaper as well as less people use it to make, a, uh, make their moonshines. But this is that affected on everything uh, water side. Um, you know, you've got waters are super, obviously aquamarines are really expensive but we've got water, uh, the water bottles themselves, um, you're gonna see them go up and down. So these pushed 30K once Therapist ran out and it looks like she's she's not out now, but it's this is glitch, this happens. Once she runs out, you're gonna see these things start pushing 30K. Um, and it happened last time, she did run out, so keep that in mind. Plus she only has a limit of three, which I believe it was five beforehand, so it's three now, so you can only buy three of these. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you're buying these, though, don't use them all up. Use 59 of 60, and then you can craft stuff with them. Um, right now, uh, I think the best craft is going to be Kavas. So if you go in and look at Kavas's, they're selling for quite a bit. They were pushing 22, 24K before the therapist reset. But if when you're crafting these things um, and you come in here, these right here, you can use um, one out of 60 water bottles. They don't have to be full. And MLRIs are pretty cheap. So you can buy, you know, 20K worth of Emily Rise, your bottles that are used up basically count that as zero cost. And you can then you either have Kavas bottles that you can use again um, that are a little bit better, 
or you uh, you can sell them and make a little bit of money. Um, but we've also seen things like the EWRs get more expensive. So we've seen these guys push 20K up. Juices are staying a little bit cheaper. They are more expensive, but they're another way to go. Uh, pineapple juice, uh, Vita juices, and the uh, palm juices are all 30, and apple juices are 25 on their hydration. So with the Aquamarines, keep in mind that you can drink these down to one of their 200, what are they, one of 150, um, and then use them to barter for M1 rigs so you can get a little bit more value out of those Aquamarines. Just way to save a little bit of money, um, get some more out of your bang for your buck with everything being so expensive. Now, as far as loot spots go, I'm not entirely sure uh, where we're gonna see um, effects on this. Like, have they reduced loot spawns? I don't know yet. I haven't had a chance to get in raid and really look around. But I'll go through the maps and talk about some of the loot spots so you know where to look for water because you're gonna be needing it. Customs, uh, you got ration supply crates in Alamo or uh, Fortress or whatever you wanna call it, the map in the middle where ZB12 um, is or ZB13, um, the power switch extract, uh, as well as the two, there's two rooms above USEC stash the end storage closet, and then the one that's like a little door that you open. They've got pretty good food spawns in them. Woods, pretty much everywhere. Um, the whole map's got food all over it, but uh, the villages, you know, the sunken village, and more importantly, the actual actual town, those have really good food spawns. Interchange, uh, Goshen, obviously. Uh, Goshen has great food spawns. Uh, Pestley did a video, you know, that far north side of Goshen has tons of food in it on the shelves. But the offices inside Ollie uh, also have decent spawns. The offices everywhere do. They have decent food spawns. And then the, the, the stores, the food, the restaurants, if you will, the food court stuff, those kind of have uh, some sporadic food spawns as well. In reserve, you have the bunkers down below the hermetic door. You need keys to get into them, but inside those cages, there is a ton of food spawns. The kitchens of Black Bishop, um, which is a schoolhouse, you know, the drop down room. The kitchen has food spawns, and if you go into the basement from the kitchen, there's a bunch of food down there in the basement as well. And then there's also a food crate over in the Echo Field, over by the Rook or the, the train building, that where that AA tank is, there's a fridge and some stuff there. There's a food crate there that you can search as well. And then lastly, Shoreline. Um, food's kind of all over the place. It's kind of like woods, but if you go to the cottages or the villages, that's gonna be your best spawns, as well as resort. Uh, most of the rooms have food spawns in them, um, even the, one, the keyed rooms and unkeyed rooms and then admin and stuff like that. But that pretty much wraps it up. Good luck out there. Stay thirsty, my friends. All right, well, that wraps up the video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out on the YouTube algorithm. We have a Discord. We, we fill up with, there's lots of people in there willing to ask questions, help out. We've got a key channel for people that need to get doors unlocked or looking to group up and do specific tasks. And it's filling up with people that just love Tarkov. So don't hesitate to come by, join the group and be part of the hangar. A little bit more housekeeping. I have a Patreon. Um, it's an alternative for folks that want to support the channel. Uh, the higher tiers have some bonuses, like they get to see videos like this early, as well as I, I post in there when I'm seeing things going on in the economy, I'll post things in there for them uh, or the Discord that say, hey, you know, look out for these items and stuff like that kind of on a daily basis, just so that you can do it. I've got the list here of all the folks that are doing it, uh, the credits, if you will, guys that are putting that extra mile in to help us pay for the editors and pay for the content and Tarkov market and all the stuff that we use, the expenses we have to generate these videos. But lastly, I just want to say thank you for supporting us on YouTube. If that's all you're doing, that's plenty enough. Thank you guys for watching the videos, uh, liking, subscribing, chatting. All of that means a bunch to me, and I greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best of luck, and we'll see you in Tarkov.